Hi, I'm back for another food product review for you today. This time about these alkalized and cooked duck eggs. I've never tried them before. I've never had one of these before. Have you? I looked it up on Wikipedia and it says, it says century egg. They look the same. The picture looked the same as these. So let's see what they taste like. See, there's a few uh, holes poked into the cardboard here. And I saw it um, on the other side somewhere too earlier. Oh, that's funny. Now when I'm making a video, I can't find it. You see, another one. But the box is sealed. You see, there is a tape on here and a tape on either side of the box. So they have not been opened yet. Let me get my little scissors and so we can open it. Cut it open. There we go. Oh, look. Oh. I don't know, it doesn't. It smell really bad or anything. It smells a little bit like plastic. And uh, a little bit like egg, maybe. That's what they look like. Oh! I get to eat one of these. Oh, yay. This way around. Alkalized and cooked duck eggs. Yeah. That's all it says and some Chinese letters. <gasps> Let's eat one. It says ready to eat and here it says eat me, eat me. Yeah, these are not quail eggs and these are not chicken eggs. Uh, these are duck eggs. Let me show you some more what the box looks like. And yes, here it says eight pieces. I cannot read Chinese, but I'm kind of interested in how you say century egg or actually yeah century egg let's check out the ingredients it says fresh duck eggs food grade sodium hydroxide salt and copper sulfate copper sulfate never heard of that before um, they give you directions peel and wash clean add gold plum uh, Xinjiang vinegar I probably said that wrong soy sauce and pure sesame oil um, I don't have any of that um, vinegar that kind of vinegar or any soy sauce silly me i ran out but i have pure sesame oil right now i'm just gonna eat it plain give uh, just to do a taste test um storage keep in a cool dry place no refrigeration is needed please email so and so for more safety information yeah let me show you some more here. Product of China. They come in a nice box. Well, a cardboard box, but nice graphics, nice color, nice pictures. Good information. can feel it right here, there's like a little cut, I mean, a place where you can tear it. Oh, 
it smells like a duck egg. And you know it's cooked. It's ready to eat, that's what it says on the box. A green egg. A green egg. I should have put on my green um, eyeshadow for that, that I bought, that I did a review on. I'll show you the color a little bit better. It looks more greenish this way. Look at that. I'm gonna peel it and wash it clean. Let's peel it. So we can see oops, what it looks like. Definitely green. That's for sure. Smells like a duck egg. Oh, I bet it'll be good. I'm hungry. Peel it carefully so I can show you what it looks like better instead of having it break look look at this shell look at what it looks like does the camera focus in correctly that's what it looks like look at that it's like black looking more than green I would think and uh, yeah that's what it looks like let's eat it I'll show you again some more what it looks like I washed it let's do a taste test that's what we've all been waiting for Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's way better than I thought it would be. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'll buy that more often. <gasps> mm. 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 Actually, down farther on the bottom. Now it burns me in my throat. It burns a bit. It seems like almost some, somewhat bitter. I think you need like a bread or some potatoes or something with it, you know. Eat it with something, not just by itself. It burns the throat a little bit. It tastes a little tiny little bit rubbery, but not bad at all. The silk is all the way dark green. This one's a little lighter. You see the difference? Let's try the left part again. Hmm. Maybe that's the bitter part. No? I thought this is the one that burns in the throat. Um, let me try the green, the dark green again. Mm. Not that one. 
Oh yeah, that one does too. No, it does burn in the salt a little bit, but it's delicious. I would definitely try their vinegar and their sesame oil along with it and rice. I don't know why I said potatoes earlier, rice. Uh, this is the Chinese from Wikipedia. Um, they gave these Chinese letters for the century egg, so let's listen to it. I know that's not important for the product review, but I wanted to make it fun for you. And I hope you enjoyed another food product review from me today. Thank you for watching. Till soon, I hope. Goodbye.